Right, expectation and variance for a binomial distribution. So we have x following a binomial distribution with n trials and the probability of success is p. We have a lovely little result here for the expectation of x. Remember, expectation is the same as mean. It's simply n times p. And the variance of x, which is sigma squared, is n times p times q. Remember, if you're asked to find the standard deviation, that would just be the square root of the variance. And a little reminder that q is just 1 minus p. OK, so let's put this with an example. So we're finding the expectation of x and the variance of x. So e of x, 4 times 0 0.8, so that's 3.2. And the variance, 4 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2, because q is 1 minus the 0 0.8, which gives us 0 0.64. OK, example number 2. This one's working backwards, so x follows a binomial distribution um, with n trials, probability of success is p, but this time we know the expectation and the variance, and we're going to work out n and p from there. So, we know that the expectation of x is n times p, so np equals 24, and variance is npq, so that equals 8. Now we can replace np with 24 in the second um, equation and we can divide that through so we get q is a third. Now if q is a third p must be 1 minus a third so p is two thirds. So there we've got the p. Moving on with that we use np equals 24 so substituting our value of p and we can rearrange it to work out n so n is 36. So lovely little uh, results there, nice and easy to work with the expectation and variance when we're talking about a binomial distribution.